up here all the different units that we can choose from okay now right now we are working on our team working skills this horse here darcy he will move all the others out of the way instantly but what won't happen is it won't create a fight amongst the horses the other horses will accept it move away move to a different spot because horses are looking for an easy life and that can relate to a conversation about well what does it feel like when everyone thinks you're the tough guy a huge amount of people that work with us have dyslexia they'll just write whatever they feel like next to the photos and that's the evidence that gets them the qualification so this is creative industries kind of like drama quite fun we get to like make our own acting up and we do it the next week. Our festival's in a big bubble and it's called the Ozone. Well, it helps you with like planning and stuff and good teamwork because inside, inside we all work in groups and it gets like used to working with different people as well. So in childcare we're just learning about stages of development, changes in development and how different types of play promote development and we're just about to go outside and do a bit on discovery play. So I think it's good to choose this course if you're like looking into working with children and like any setting at all. Like I want to be a neonatal nurse so that's why I chose this subject and some people in the class want to go into like primary school teaching or working with kids with additional needs. <laughs> Mental health and wellbeing as a subject basically is learning to like solve problems around it and help others. One of the things we've done in mental health and wellbeing is revamping the mental health and wellbeing area so that visitors that come into the school can have a nice place to sit and pupils and teachers, if they're feeling stressed or struggling, they can sit and have a quiet space. We have learned a thing about ACEs, adverse childhood experiences. Um, I hope to do something with fitness, I think, so I think that would really benefit me as I can know like the struggles. I want to be a children and family social worker, so I think it can really help when like the families are struggling. It helps us get in and get insight into the job world, the engineering, so that's what we mainly want to do. It's helping us like get work experience as well. Miss McShane said we can easily just get a job at Halfords, making bikes, just putting the pedals in and that as well. And then it can help you with actually good hand skills and fixing other stuff that's bigger than that. So regardless of what you do in life, do it to the best of your ability, follow the instructions, work to the book. Not wrong. First of all, remember that is not the amount of units you're paying for. The amount of units that you've used is the difference between your present and your previous meter readings. You don't get taxed on the money that is in there. Then I just didn't think it would be something I was interested in. But this year I was just kind of looking for something that didn't really have a, a, like an exam at the end of this year that was something practical. So I joined this and I, I really enjoy it. It's, just, it's really fun. I would definitely, I'd definitely recommend it to people. Absolutely. It's absolutely amazing. This is what my soldier doing was like at the start. And this is what it's like now. Coming out of the second lockdown, we had a group of pupils who we tracked quite closely through first, second and third year that we knew were going to be really, really difficult and hard to reach. 
because I've just turned around and said, I'm not coming back to school. I'm done. I can't do it. This is too hard. Um, you know, lockdown was really, really difficult. Major issues in terms of mental health. We already had the fantastic um, provision from ASN. We were able to focus and really change what, what, what we looked at. So the pupils then became as part of a part-time timetable. So we had a bit of a selling job to do. We had to go and get the parents in. You get something to eat, you bring me some water, we'll give you a cereal bar, you come for a couple of hours. And rather than doing four subjects or five subjects in a day, we'll do one. It's as much about them feeling safe as much as anything else. What we saw was unbelievable impacts. I'm going to show you a graph. But we also need to think about how we're going to move this forward. <laughs> Run through it and we'll ask a few questions on the way. And where's the nearest defibrillator in the school? Uh, there's one at the office front door and one up in the social department. Can you tell us about the Pulse Alert system? We've got first years out just now teaching them uh, basic bike skills and setting up different drills for them to complete and eventually getting them going around a course around the school. Giving them trust within themselves to be able to go on a bike and be confident to complete any skills. They seem to be able to talk more and ask more questions to us than they would to kind of teacher try to tell them what to do on a bike. Uh, we are sports leaders and we were teaching first years about basketball and badminton and football today. Uh, we recently just finished our assignment which was teaching us about different leadership styles. Uh, we've used leadership skills such as taking initiative. We've been the ones having to make these courses and lead the courses and make the decisions on what the guest wants to do. a worldwide phenomenon, uh, a worldwide organisation that we've literally bought into which has helped it to, to, to deliver a fantastic programme for a, currently an SD. It helps young people to develop very important skills for life, learning and work. The winning charity from our school is, is for every school we'll get £3,000 of a grant. In this school we supply £500 from our own fund for the second place team. S2 are the ones who are the audience for the final. They do their presentations which are very often, you know, very imaginative. So this year we were given the chance to do our MPA award alongside our music performance award. It's just a basically a programme of music, 20 minutes long for our MPA and our normal music performance, 50 minutes. So the only difference is lengthening that along with a written evaluation to get our MPA award. You get the opportunity to get more UCAS points as well, which is really beneficial when you're applying to universities and stuff on your personal statements and CVs. In music, the, mo the one thing you want to do is perform. So the more performing, the better that is really. My main instrument is saxophone, so I enjoy it. <laughs> Develop your communication, your confidence during your performance. You'll learn how to perform in showcases. You'll also be able to manage your time more effectively. for medicine and pharmacology so I think music's been really beneficial to me in my personal statements um, you know dexterity for medicine and a lot of my volunteering is to do with music as well so it was really useful in that sense. Mm -hmm.